So with these kind of ideas in mind, let's write the overall momentum balance for this solid fluid mixture. So conservation of momentum for the solid fluid mixture. And right now, we're considering the kind of fully saturated case. So that is, there, there's no air in, in the voids. The, the pores are completely filled with fluid, OK? So let's just start by writing down the momentum balance for the solid. Right? We should all know what that is. We derived it earlier in the course. Right? So that's the momentum balance for the solid. But if the thing's in motion, there's some inertia associated with the fluid inside of it, right? So we want to add the inertia term of the fluid. And the way we're going to write that is with, is with respect to, or a fluid velocity with respect to the solid. So I'm going to write now the inertia, the density of the fluid is the time derivative of Wi plus Wj. So this, this term here is the fluid acceleration with respect to the solid. So W is the relative velocity of the fluid with respect to the velocity of the solid. Okay? And in general, this guy is going to be small. I mean, if you think about, uh, I mean, you've all had undergraduate courses in reservoir geomechanics or transport, right? So we know when we're, we're ultimately going to talk about Dar Darcy-type seepage, and those velocities are really small, right? So when you have really small velo velocities and then you, you're taking higher order terms, whether in time or, or in convection, right, th these terms are going to be really small, and a lot of times we'll just neglect them. So, but in the general case, we'll leave it there. And so this is, you know, one equation that we have. That's the momentum for the solid fluid mixture.